Daniel Craig before he was Bond. Welcome to Condensed Cinema, and today we're counting down the top seven facts about the movie Layer Cake. With a budget of 6.5 million, it grossed a little under 12, which would generally be a disappointment. However, it would go on to have strong video sales and receive a cult status among fans. It currently has a 7.4 rating on IMDb and an 81% certified fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Garrett was originally scheduled to direct, but commitments made he had to drop out. It was instead beheaded by Matthew Vaughan, who'd helped Ritchie previously by producing Lock Stock. Vaughan would later go on to direct films such as Kick Ass, Kingsman, and X Men. Vaughan liked the educated nature of Daniel Craig's character as a stark contrast to those of the Duke, who acted more like the villain from the typical British gangster flicks. Just like every Norton in Fight Club or Ryan Gosling in Drive, you don't find out the protagonist's name, however it's never been done in such a good way. Were you one of the viewers who made it all the way to the end without finding out what Craig's character was called? Well, you're not alone. Clearly we aren't as clever as the arrogant sod after all. Craig's performance played a big part in winning the coveted role of 007. There's a lovely bit of unintentional foreshadowing within the movie. When Craig's character finally gets his hands on a gun, he begins to get a little carried away. Daniel Craig's turn in layer cake convinced director Martin Campbell to vote for him to play James Bond in Casino Royale over rival Henry Cavill. In the opening montage, Craig walks through a pharmacy in which he imagines all the products are drugs like cocaine and ecstasy, branded with labels such as FC UK Reality. The founder of French Connection, Stephen Marks, was an executive producer on the film. Recreational drug DLC, giving people what they want. Good times today, stupid tomorrow. The actor Jamie Foreman, who plays the Duke, is the son of actual London gangster Freddie Foreman, who is an associate of the Cray Twins. Sony Pictures originally wanted the director to use an ending showing Craig driving off into the sunset with his new girlfriend. Vaughan secretly recorded an alternative ending showing him being shot by Sydney. Following test screenings, the audience voted Vaughan's ending the most popular, as it was not like other American movie endings. I don't want to add my name to that list. My name? If you knew that, you'd be as clever as me. So what do you think? Did I miss any important facts? Please let me know in the comments section below. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.